in this short little recreation, I wanted to show what it may have looked visually, size-wise, from the cockpit um, when Fast Eagle approached and saw the Tic Tac down at the ocean surface. So Charlie, contact Rob. Repurposing animations from my short here. So here we have uh, Lieutenant Alex Dietrich and her Wizzo Jim Slate, and in the other jet, Commander Fravor and his Wizzo. They're headed west about 60 miles at 20,000 feet. Fast Eagle Charlie, merge plot. You guys seeing this? Three o'clock in the water. What the heck is that? Yeah, what is that? One zero zero, high cover at 24. So the story goes they saw this white water, like a cross shape on the surface, and this white tic tac bouncing around above it. This is what it would look like from 15,000 feet down to about 8,000 feet, with the closest point of approach of about half a mile. Here's a little replay with my commentary. So Commander Fravor said that he began a clockwise descending turn and this object ascended up as he was coming down. And he's coming down through 11,000 feet. The object's now at about 7,000 feet off his three o'clock. I'm using a 50 millimeter lens, which kind of simulates human eyesight. He said as he cut the circle, this thing like shot off in front of him. No tally. Some things are only speculation on my part. I don't know the exact geometry, turn radius, and time of Commander Fravor's circle as he came down on this object in his 30 second animation. Um, nor do I know the direction of travel of the Tic Tac, but he said that it mirrored his turn. Here I'm making the Tic Tac conform to a slightly shorter circle. You can see in this graphic it shows kind of the geometry of the turns that um, I used. This shows the sort of corkscrew descending turn and then the corkscrew ascending turn. The red line indicates the observation direction from the jet to the object and it measures out in feet the distance between those two points. One final graphic I'll leave you with is the official documents that were released say that the jets arrived on scene between 20,000 and 24,000 feet above sea level when they spotted the white water. So I wanted to show you what that looks like. In this graphic, it's just a still looking down at the same scene from 24,000 feet. Invariably, people ask me, what am I trying to prove here? I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just curious what the human eye would see if faced with looking at a Tic Tac object that's 40 feet long at 15,000 feet or 24,000 feet and then having this thing come at me. Anyway, thanks for watching and write your comments below.